philosopher said that the limits of my language are the limits of my world. So this World Book Week, why don't you have a think about how big your world is? And if you're not very satisfied, pick up a book and make it bigger. I love this book because you won't be surprised. I love the quotes in it and the inspirational message that comes through this book. I recommend the book True Grit by Bear Girls as it's filled with incredibly inspiring stories of humans pushing themselves to the absolute limit, as well as surviving in the most extreme circumstances. Reading is the best. Not only is it brilliant for academic achievement, for improving your vocabulary, your social skills, your confidence, it's great for your mental health and well-being because it helps you relax, but reading's fun. It helps you escape into other worlds and have adventures, you meet lots of new people, it provides escape and excitement, and we all need that just now if you're in lockdown at home. So I hope you find a good book that you can do all these things with, and have a great World Book Day! I love this book because it's for everybody from age seven, like my son, um, up to me, up to any age. I think it says eight to eighty. Oh! Hello, I didn't see you there. For me, the best part about reading is it's a chance to get away from the computer screen and unwind with a cup of tea and a good book. Right now, I'm reading The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Now, if you don't mind, it's actually getting to the good bit. Hey everyone, happy World Book Day. My favourite book is Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. It's set in the 1930s in America, but a lot of the issues raised are still very relevant in today's society, like racial discrimination, prejudice, attitudes towards race. I'd recommend that everyone get reading today. It's so beneficial for mental health, lots of benefits like improved concentration and focus and improved communication skills. Thank you, Isla. The book I have chosen is Survival by Chris Ryan. It's a book about a group of teenagers who get stuck on a deserted island. I think reading is really important because it enhances your imagination, so I hope you all have a good World Book Day. Cheers Rory, this World Book Day, I'm reading the cookbook. This is because not only can you read some creative, imaginative stories, you can also read these books that you can put into practical use. So I hope you all have a really good World Book Day. Have you heard? There's a sea monster on the loose. Hi, my name's Pierre. I'm the leader of the expedition. Hey guys, can I come? I'm really good at killing whales. I can't see anything, can you? What's that? Ah! Hi everyone, I'm Captain Nemo. You're on the Nautilus, my submarine. I love this book because it's just so full of hope. My book is Poverty Safari by Darren McGarvey. Uh, this is an uh, articulate, passionate and important book about deprivation and its effects on people economically, psychologically and spiritually. I think it's really compelling and enlightening. So thank you very much. I love this book because the beautiful illustrations tell a story without the words. A book I read recently was Bluebird, Bluebird by Attica Locke. It's an American murder mystery that centres around Darren Matthew, uh, an African-American Texan ranger. He tries to solve two murders that take place in a town in eastern Texas, or, which was a former plantation. It's a fast-paced, thrilling read and it keeps you guessing right until the end. Hi! I love it. I read it. Me gusta los libros. Doesn't matter what language I say it in, I love reading. So get yourself a bit of romance or a good murder, just get reading. I love this book because you can find a quote for every occasion. Uh, you're reading books in English? Fantastic. But learn another language and you'll be able to read so many other authors in their own language. Go for it. <laughs>